The crypto markets are potentially seeing a sea of red right now. Here is Binance Coin. Just literally, if we switch this on to something like the five minute time frame, just tanking after a big pump up. And one of the reasons that we're potentially seeing for this is because Binance's CZ has pleaded guilty to violating AML requirements. Um, Binance, I don't know if you guys saw the news, just uh, I think it was today or yesterday, has actually found themselves in a position where the United States uh, has put them has given them like a $4 billion fine. Uh, and we can actually see that right here on this uh, Cointelegraph article right here. Binance founder Changpeng CZ Zhao has agreed to step down as CEO of the crypto exchange as the US Department of Justice prepares to announce that it secured a $4.3 billion settlement from the company. That means Binance has already paid that settlement. Absolutely crazy ladies and gents we actually knew that this was coming earlier today um those of you that were looking at the stuff on twitter uh there was some news about the doj in the united states actually uh having some sort of big announcement at about 3 p.m united states time so i'm guessing that's eastern uh so that happened by the looks of it um the thing is it's not it's not 3 p.m over there by now uh, i'm just looking at this with you guys as uh this evolves and i do obviously as usual want to relate all of this content back to the price because that is what we are here for that's what we're interested in bitcoin has seen some really extreme volatility today um you know bitcoin went from a high of 37.7 down to a low of 36.2 and then right back up to those highs and now dropping right back down on that news once again which is just more of that absolute craziness here so uh you know i think there's a lot to unpack right here i want to look at this with you guys for the first time and then of course uh you know come back to you with some more information when the dust settles a little bit later on but the first thing i want to do is obviously look at what this might do to the price and the first thing that i do want to point out is that this isn't huge um news in terms of how breaking it is right i mean this article dropped 16 minutes ago uh you know we we knew that the doj was gonna you know drop something today uh you know many many hours ago uh you know and we knew about the binance settlement hours ago as well so um you know i i do want to just the first thing i want to do is just take a step back i'm sitting here in my fucking robe today legends <laughs> i was not prepared to make this video uh, but i saw the news and i was like yeah you guys uh, are probably going to want to hear from me right now. So do me a favor and smash up the likes um, if you do appreciate that. And, and by the way, guys, uh, you know, I've, I've told you guys for a long time, I've got personal problems with Binance. I haven't actually spoken about it publicly yet. Uh, I know that you guys have been kind of speculating on what those problems have been. I've had a massive issue with them since 2018. Uh, they are just absolutely horrible at... Uh, they're just absolutely horrible at uh, accepting responsibility for, uh, you know, the mistakes that they've made, um, you know, and uh, and the main exchanges that I'm using, uh, you know, kind of uh, not necessarily like in response to that, because I think these are better anyway, regardless of if Binance actually existed, is that uh, as I'm using Bybit and you've actually got a beautiful link down here that's going to give you a $30,000 bonus when you sign up and start trading using my links. So uh, if you guys are looking for a safer place to keep your funds, uh, you know, that's not to say that Bybit is safer, uh, you know, but uh, but I've been using them for years instead of Binance and uh, and I'm super, super happy with them. Uh, CoinW and BingX down here both don't require KYC. So uh, another great alternative over here. I've actually met the founder of CoinW and BingX so that allows you to trade traditional finance which is really cool and collectively all of these exchanges are giving you over 196k in bonuses so if you've been on binance for a long time and you don't feel safe with this news i don't necessarily think that you know i i think binance is still completely safe just to be clear i don't like them but I, i'm still going to be realistic with you i think they're okay um solvent and everything i'm sure that's fine i might be wrong uh you know but uh, but if you want to take the necessary precautions to you know safeguard your funds anyway and i think that's definitely the right thing to do then definitely do consider these beautiful exchanges that uh, I've been working with for a little bit now uh, with these huge bonuses that are available to you guys as well. Uh, now, again, the, the key point that I wanted to raise to you guys with regards to the price action is that a lot of this news has been in the market for a little bit. now. And obviously, the biggest news, Binance getting hit with a $4 billion settlement is pretty big news. Okay, that's that's true. But the biggest news, I think, and I think a lot of other people think this, and the price action agrees with this too, is uh, CZ actually resigning. And the thing that I think is really important about this to acknowledge is that now that this news has circulated in the market for, you know, at the time of me recording close to 20, 25 minutes, at least, if not more, 30 minutes, one hour, um, if there was going to be something catastrophic, like Bitcoin dropping down to, you know, 
thirty thousand dollars or twenty five or you know whatever uh some really really big crash even just dropping out of this sideways trading range if that was going to happen right like just dropping out of this green box where the bottom of this box was at 35k if any of that stuff was going to happen then I think it probably would have happened by now. And that's really important because when the news genuinely is actually really bad, the market tends to react really fucking quick, yeah? But when you've got this situation where people, and you're going to start seeing this if you're in Discord groups, Telegram groups, and stuff like that, where people are like not really understanding what's going on, trying to make sense of the situation, what you're actually going to hear people saying is, well, the news needs time to circulate. You know, America hasn't woken up yet or whatever other bullshit that, you know, people are going to tell you, um, you know, and, and, and I just don't buy it. You know, I, I want to be very, very clear with you guys. I mean, right now, I think the only narrative is that Australia hasn't woken up yet. I mean, and I, and I love you Aussies. You guys are the best people in the world, but you know, Australians are not having any impact on this crypto market, obviously. Uh, you know, China hasn't woken up yet. You know, it, it's, it's just a bunch of stupid stuff. Um, you know, if, if, if a piece of news is going to have an effect on the market, uh, it's going to have an effect on the market before you find out about it. Uh, I, I, want, I want that to be very, very clear with you guys. I've been in this space for over six and a half years now. Uh, and, and that is an unequivocally proven statement uh that i can that i can say to you guys with with utter certainty uh, with utmost certainty uh because i've seen it happen like this so many times so the fact that we haven't already seen a big drop is a very good sign in my opinion ladies and gents uh you know i mean it, it's it's telling you and, and and you know i actually had this idea i was actually messaging my analyst today uh the guy who works with me in vip and, uh, uh, you know, one of the things I was speaking to him about, uh, my, my lead analyst, is, uh, you know, Bitcoin has been consolidating up here for a little bit of time now. I mean, you know, if we take a look at when Bitcoin actually really hit this range and then, you know, up to now, Bitcoin has spent an entire two weeks up in this range now, you know. And by the way, the last time Bitcoin broke out from its range uh, was, was, you know, 15, 16 days. So, and that depends on how you look at it. I mean, I, I would argue that the real breakout happened here. So about 14 and a half days into the sideways range, into the consolidation range, whatever you want to call it, the continuation pattern, uh, that's when Bitcoin finally got the breakout. And we're now more or less at the same kind of point right now. Um, you know, and, and this is a really, really big deal because one of the things that you'll actually understand if you've been around for a long time, or of course, if you're just watching a YouTube channel like this, make sure you smash up those likes and double check that you are subscribed. You've got the bell icon checked as well to just guarantee that you're getting all this very time sensitive content right when it is published. Um, you know, one of the things that you're going to learn if you've been around for a little bit is that when a market is bullish, or at least when it has a strong underlying bullish stance and where that bullish stance is likely to materialize, where we're likely to move to the upside, and then bad news hits, when bad things happen in a bullish market, it doesn't really matter. Uh, you know, the expression is that in a bull market, we just shrug off bad news. Yeah. And, and the opposite in, in reverse. In a bear market, we just shrug off good news. And, and that's how you know that actually, you know, the sentiment is still pretty poor. So, you know, I think the market is showing us something really important here. Uh, you know, first of all, just from a pure price action point of view, uh, we have tested the highs a good number of times. I mean, you know, let's just count this right here. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, relatively seven, relatively individual attacks at the resistance and one at the support level. You know what I mean? Like it's just not that much that we've dropped down to the bottom of this range. And by the way, you can redefine this range. You can drag this, uh, you know, yellow line to be all the way. Let me, uh, you can drag the yellow line to be all the way down here. And then you can say, well, we've had one, to three hits but you know like it, it doesn't really matter how you try and you know draw this narrative differently what's very clear is that the price has gravitated to the upside more than it's gravitated to the downside right in terms of the market trying to break out um you know and all of that while we're honestly at quite a strong area of resistance i mean you know if we look at this yellow line just to refresh ourselves on where we actually are in this market um you know this is not uh, the easiest kind of level for bitcoin to be breaking right now at about thirty-eight thousand. We've got some major reversals happening around this area. We've got a strong bit of support right here. We've got some more strong support over here, uh, you know, throughout early 2022. Um, you know, definitely a, a strong area in the market, I would say. And I think because of that, uh, you know, this is still something that's really well worth paying attention to as resistance. Yet, even then, Bitcoin has performed pretty well at this area of resistance, you know, and, and we take this a step further. And we look at, uh, you know, Bitcoin actually now seeing this news with CZ coming out. Uh, you know, I think that we really are onto something here that uh, that that could definitely 
uh, you know, be a big deal for the market in terms of being bullish. Now, you know, and, and, and I don't I don't want to start making bullish arguments in the face of some extremely scary news, uh, you know, but but, uh, but what I do want to do is, is read between the lines. Yeah. And actually understand that um, when we have things in the market that are going to negatively impact the market like bad news, uh, like I said, the number one key important thing I want you to take away from this video is that typically not always, obviously, but typically if something is going to have a big effect on the market, it will have that big effect really fucking quickly quickly uh you know it's not going to take time the, the news doesn't need time to circulate or anything like that when people have got big amounts of money they don't wait until the fucking monday open or whatever like that to to start selling or or anything like that uh you know they they just go straight for it and uh, and, I, and i think that is really really important to keep in mind now one of the other things i want to do in this video and, and this is just so off the cuff you know, one of the one of the beautiful things about this is obviously I'm just going to come back to you guys later on when the dust has settled, like I said, and give you some more analysis on this. But for right now, the key scoop that I want to give you guys, uh, you know, is is, is going to be my take on all this news. So let's read further uh, and understand what's going on. Of course, this is my first time reading it with you guys as well. Um, and let's just take a look at what we're dealing with here. So according to the Wall Street Journal, CZ intends to plead guilty to several charges levied, levied by the DOJ. He's scheduled to appear in a federal court in Seattle on November 21st. That's today. What? Or does that mean next year? Um, he'll plead guilty to a criminal charge. Fuck. Um, the deal will allow CZ to retain his majority stake in Binance. He likely won't face jail time as part of the plea bargain. Okay. Uh, but he won't be able to hold an executive position. So is this like... You know, does this mean, it, important question, does this mean he's still going to have power, um, you know, over the company? Or, uh, you know, is he going to have like a puppet CEO? I mean, majority stake is, is still a big deal. CZ didn't really dilute his stake, by the way. I think this is something that a lot of people don't really know about Binance and just a lot of these exchange companies, by the way. Really interesting, just commentary. Um, you know, it's, it's a lot of these big exchanges. They're not actually that diluted. Like Bybit, my understanding, I might be wrong about this. Sorry, Ben, if you're watching this and I got this wrong, but not particularly diluted. The top guy has a lot of the shares. Binance, same deal. Not really. I mean, you know, you look at any of the other really big companies that lead industries like the tech industry with Apple and Tesla or whatever. I mean, it's massively diluted. But, uh, you know, something like this, uh, you know, is, is not something that you see particularly often. Um, also reported that the plea deal won't affect pending litigation with the US SEC as it doesn't include a settlement for the case brought again. Wow, okay, so what this is saying to us is that, uh, you know, with the, 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 the situation that CZ is facing right now by the DOJ, that is actually separate to what the SEC has been hassling him about, him about as well. So he could be getting a round two of this as well. Uh, let's see what else this continues with. The DOJ settlement uh, will resolve the company's issues with the CFTC, uh, as the 4.3 includes funds that will be applied to the CFTC's case. Okay, so that's another three, four letter government government organization taken care of. The CFTC, nothing to worry about there anymore. Uh, but the SEC is still going to be on his back potentially. Um, former pharmaceutical mogul and self-titled pharma, pharma bro Martin Shkreli, uh, who served four years on a seven-year sentence on fraud charges, weighed in to seemingly joke that he'd put in a good word for CZ, although it's unlikely that he faces any jail time. Here we go again. CZ jail ain't so bad. I'll put in a good world. Uh, I'll put in a good word with Flacco and them. Don't know who they are. Uh, don't understand that reference. But um, yeah, neither Binance nor the DOJ has responded immediately, immediately to request for comments. So that's kind of what we're dealing with here. Here's another uh, bit of news. I don't know if this is supplementary to to what we just read. Uh, it, it probably is related in some way. The U.S. Uh, Justice Department seizes $9 million of USDT uh, amid 225 illicit funds stolen, uh, frozen by Tether. Okay, so this is different news. Um, you know, this is uh, a couple of days ago. Uh, again, I mean, you know, you don't you don't have to be uh, keeping up to date with this news. It, it's it's really not that important, uh, you know, for us as traders. But uh, I just happen to see it. Uh, you know, I, if, if I'm not mistaken, this is um, uh, human trafficking, something like that. Or although they're they're talking about Silk Road over here, so. Um, that, that this might be slightly different but it was, it was my understanding was that this was something to do with human trafficking uh and tether uh, which, which you know a lot of you might not know actually has the power to uh freeze funds uh you know for, from from anybody 
um you know it, it, it is not a decentralized crypto uh you know it is it is not the safest place to keep your funds uh really the only safe place to keep your funds in crypto in my opinion is, is bitcoin uh you know and, and that comes with a whole you know host of issues like you know exposure to volatility but you know you, you, you gotta weigh it up and, and and see where you fall you know i mean if you're not human trafficking then you might not have such a you know, big problem with USDT from that particular angle of them freezing your funds, but that is what happened here. Um, we've we've got yeah you know, a, a little bit of um, of information about this right here. Scammers stole millions from victims across the United States. Um, the funds were tied to an organization responsible for pig butchering romance scams in which bad actors attempt to develop an online relationship. I mean, I don't know if this is human trafficking. I mean, you, you're getting very loose with definitions if, if that's what they're trying to call it. Uh, it doesn't actually say that anywhere here, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, but yeah, they did freeze funds. Not related, though. Uh, I think the main story here is going to be this, um, this stuff right here. Let's actually take a quick look at Twitter. Um, I want to see if there's anything particularly interesting on the timeline as well. Uh, by the way, guys, I want to give a shameless plug to my Twitter profile. We've got some phenomenal content on here. Just having a little bit of fun. This was my tweet just reacting. We don't need to keep that up on there, obviously, because now, now I'm making a video about it. Here's a beautiful tweet for you guys to enjoy. The dream woman is going to be uh, combining the submissiveness of a Latina, the cooking skills of a Norwegian, the peacefulness of a Jamaican, the cleanliness of an Indian. I'm half Indian, by the way. That's not racist. The dental hygiene of a Brit, the romanticism of a German, and the morals of an American. True wifey right there. So some fucking top class content absolutely she deserves better than all of us uh some, some top class content guys just check it out look i'm just shit posting i'm having a lot of fun with it just fucking around uh <laughs> yeah just uh just just messing around a lot and uh, and if you guys like that kind of content then definitely go check it out uh if you get offended easily then how the fuck do you make it this far on my youtube channel <laughs> that doesn't really make sense um yeah but uh but let's see what else we've got on the timeline here um how bad things could get for the smaller exchanges you think binance will probably be the most careful one since it's the biggest you know I, i'm not sure if i agree with this cz is a really cool person um you know he, he's he's definitely one of the better traders on twitter uh but i don't actually agree with this take i think that uh, binance was actually generally quite careful but uh you know when when governments are going for um anybody for anything they're gonna go for the ones that are the most visible and you know nobody is more popular than binance so you know, I, I don't know if I agree with that one particularly much. Um, you know, I, I, I think that uh, smaller exchanges are going to be in trouble for different reasons, uh, you know, and, uh, and, and and that's something which is important. And by the way, this is why, you know, I go back to things like especially Bybit, but more than that, just fucking self-custody, you know? I mean, you guys know that I've been working with Bybit for years and I fucking love them to death, but, uh, you know, I'll, I'll still tell you guys that, you know, you've got to have custody of your own funds. There's no, there's no two ways about that. You can't, you know, you're not getting around that one. Uh, you know, and I think a lot of people do actually miss that, but... Uh, uh, you know, you you must take custody of your own funds. There's there's no point otherwise. Um, you know, and at the same time, there are uh, you know some of the pack that are better than others. And I can't tell you with certainty that Bybit is better than Binance in terms of security and safety or whatever. Uh, but what I can tell you is I've sat face to face with Ben Zhao privately multiple times, and uh, the dude's fucking rock solid. Uh, you know, and and so are others, by the way, even others that have gone down. You know, I mean that that's not the qualifying factor for for if an exchange is good. Uh, you know, but I think Bybit has jumped through the hoops that the public has given them uh, and they've done it pretty well. I've been with them for a really long period of time and I think they're a solid, uh, I think they're a solid choice. They're my main choice. They've been my main choice for years. Uh, and, and more than that, you want to have your risk spread out. Uh, you know, one of the key reasons that I like to talk to you guys about multiple other partners uh, is because you can spread out your risk. And it doesn't matter if you use any of the exchanges I'm talking about or none of them or uh, others that are on uh, on Google, you know, at least spread out your risk uh, in order to make sure that if one gets hit, that you're not super vulnerable to that, you know, and then the bottom line to all of that stuff is, of course, making sure that you've got your own capital uh, in your own hardware wallets and your own paper wallets, whatever the case may be, so that you're not, you know, you're very difficult, you're, you're a very difficult target, um, you know, you, you need to have your own custody of your funds. So keeping them on an exchange on Coinbase, whatever, is not the way. Uh, and, and if you have any sum of, mon uh, some, some of money that's serious to you, uh, and, and you fuck around, then you're gonna find out, you know, that's, that's the only way I can put it. Uh, so of course, if you are interested, like I said, if you're looking for an alternative to Binance, you're getting over 196k in bonuses here. Uh, Bybit remains the top uh, of, of, of the industry as far as I'm concerned. Uh, definitely do check them out. I, I have to state that all of these exchanges are not, you know, you can't use them if you're in countries that have banned them. So UK, USA, and so on, 
you can't use any of them. Uh, but uh, but if you are interested, then definitely go ahead and check out uh, these ones as, as long as you can legally in your own country, of course. Uh, Bybit, super, super solid choice. CoinW and BingX both uh, super flexible, not requiring KYC to trade on and withdraw and so on, which is super cool. Uh, and BingX has that really cool, unique selling point of, well, first of all, offering you over 100K in bonuses, which is fucking insane. But more importantly, uh, giving you access to the traditional finance market so you can actually buy Tesla stock with leverage with Bitcoin, which is really, really cool so uh, that's not something that you see every day uh, but let's come back to Twitter here I do want to take another look at this just before I do head off um, tonight and then come back to you guys later on uh, say what you will about CZ and Binance but they never lost their customers money that see, see that that is something that I think is really important and I did said, say this earlier on in the video is that you know I don't necessarily think that that's actually what we're dealing with here I think that uh, you know the funds are uh, you know still relatively safe as, as far as things go on um over here um i don't know what this is alluding to oh sun tzu so who's sun tzu is he the um is he the tron guy we have seen some negative volatility on tron actually but we've seen blood across the whole altcoin market i mean here's matic just dying you know and, and by the way this is great volatility i think there's going to be some really good trade setups showing it showing themselves over here those of you that have taken advantage of these offers and have gotten your huge bonuses you know you're going to be ready to trade this with free capital which is super super cool uh those of you that are inside of my vip group who've taken advantage of the 50 percent discount uh you're going to be seeing how i'm going to be trading this as well uh you know i think there are some really really big opportunities that could be showing themselves relatively soon i've got the charts behind me as well super super interesting stuff right here obviously binance coin itself just on a massive one right now uh from its low from its high to its low down by 12 percent within literally like five minutes it's absolutely insane uh you know so this is going to be really interesting but again i mean you know like realistically what actually happened you know binance's price today is you know where it was four days ago you know no one gave a shit about what was happening four days ago so you know and i think that's really this perspective is, is really important to keep in mind it's like yes okay sure we're seeing a lot of blood but like what are we erasing? You know, Phantom, one of the biggest losers on my watch list today, uh, you know, is, is only down to levels that we haven't seen for 10 days. You know, I mean, it, it's just not that bad. And and I think that's really important to keep in mind to help us kind of ground ourselves and maintain a realistic perspective of what we're actually dealing with. Yeah, here's Tron right here, just falling off a cliff right now. Uh, you know, and I think you could make a strong argument for a lot of these coins that actually we're now just seeing the pullbacks that we kind of should have seen already. Uh, you know, I mean, uh, things can't go up in a straight line forever. One of the reasons I'm not worried about this is because I've taken so much fucking profit off the table already. You know, I'm, I'm in a massive win, uh, no matter how we slice this right now. Uh, you know, but, uh, but at the same time, I mean, you know, this was a massive relentless rally. I mean, it was 30 days of moving more or less just up for 33%, you know, and, and to now see that we're correcting down is, is a welcome thing. I mean, you know, I want to make more money, right? I'm not going to make more money by having this massive ascension, this ladder to heaven. It's, it's going to be the staircase, you know, we're looking for that beautiful, calm 45 degree, you know, staircase to heaven, you know, and if we've got a ladder, uh, that, that just ain't how it works. You know, I mean, if you take the lift down, you're going to, you know, you're just going to jump down. There's no, you know, there's no stairs to make that landing soft for you. So, uh, you know, this is welcome. I think it's okay. And I think that we're just going to have to, I mean, it might be far away, by the way, for Tron to find support or for any of these coins to find support, by the way. I mean, you know, it might, it might not be super close. For Matic, it is actually relatively close by the looks of it, but we'll take a closer look at this in the next YouTube video. Uh, you know, but, uh, but, but this is, you know, this, this is not the kind of thing I want you guys to be worried about. I mean, this is where the opportunity comes back in. I mean, you know, you don't want to be the schmuck that's buying these coins back up here at the top, uh, you know, and, and, and being somebody else's exit liquidity, you know, I mean, that's, that's not the game that we're playing here. So, I think that's really, really important to be keeping in mind. Uh, and, and it's one of the reasons that I did want to, you know, rush on here and just give you guys this super quick fire video right now uh, talking about what I'm seeing in the market. So there you go, guys. Uh, a lot to cover. I'm going to get back to you all very soon with some more developed thoughts. Uh, but the first thing I wanted to do is stress that I'm not worried about any of this stuff. Uh, you know, I mean, Binance stepping down is kind of, you know, CZ stepping down is kind of crazy. I, I really didn't expect that to happen. Uh, you know, but um, dude still got majority shares. I mean, he's reminding me of, of, a, of a certain country that we're all very well aware of, but I'm not going to say their names, uh, you know, but, uh, you know, when, when, when you lose the first position and, and you're still really the guy who's in power in the background, I mean, I, I know this is like anyone that studied any, you know, a, a, anything about, you know, modern history will, will know exactly what I'm talking about. 
um you know i mean we're, we're basically in the same position right now with with cz as I, with cz i think so i mean like what what is realistically going to change like if anything it's going to be a quality of life improvement for him so uh yeah that's that's my take there all right guys thank you all so much for watching you know exactly what to do smash up those likes subscribe tick the bell do all that beautiful stuff check out the beautiful offers available to you with the links in the description down below and regardless of what you do even if you're using the links that i've got take custody of your own funds if you haven't done it already you're a fucking idiot and if you don't take this as an opportunity to do that uh then you're an idiot on top of being irresponsible or i should say you're irresponsible on top of being an idiot so uh please don't be both be one at a time or none and <laughs> don't don't be either don't be either and uh and i'll see you all in the next one cheers